Hey everyone, Glenn Andrews here from glenn-andrews.com. I'm going to show you how to publish your ebooks to Kindle. Um, first thing you're going to do is we're going to need a couple pieces of software. Uh, the first one we're going to go to look at is Scrivener. And Scrivener costs $40, but it's well worth it if you're going to be uh, uploading a bunch of ebooks to Amazon uh, for the fact that it allows you to um, convert your Word documents into an EPUB, which then we're going to use the other two pieces of software, which are free, to convert it over to MobiFile. Okay, so if you go over to literatureandlatte.com, you can look at Scrivener and decide if that's for you or not. Okay, the next thing we must have is Seigel, and it's just an EPUB editor. And what this does is it formats your table of contents for you and turns them into links. Okay, that's a must for an e-reader. So if you go here, and you just go down and get your Windows or Mac, whichever. I have Windows and I already have it installed. So you, what you do is just click on that and install it. And then what you're going to want to also get is free, is just a Kindle Previewer to make sure that uh, when you're completely done, that the book is completely formatted and looks correct. I know a lot of times when you uh, upload to an e-reader and then you look at it afterwards through Kindle's previewer, it looks funny. Uh, everything's moved. So um, you definitely want to download that just to make sure um, that you can just... And you can actually, with Seigel, and I'm going to show you all this in a second, you can actually edit it in Seigel as you're looking at it in Kindle, you know. So I'll show you how to do that as well. Okay, so once you have those three, you have the uh, your Scrivener software, you have your Seigel software, and you have your Kindle Previewer. Next thing you will do is we'll go to Scrivener because this is where we're going to. We have our ebook in here, and Scrivener allows you to set up, and that's really what it is. It's for books and stuff, so you can create it professionally. It makes it easy to write and create uh, your different subtopics. So what we're going to do, once we have the book in here, we'll go to File, we'll click on Compile, and then we're going to compile uh, this entire book. So what we do is include everything. You want everything included, okay? Everything that's in this your book is going to be included. Here's where you want to put your chapter page breaks. You want to... Uh, page break after your copyright, your introduction, about author, and each chapter. Chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3. Anywhere that you want a page break, break just uh, click on, put a mark over here, and that will create a page break for you when we compile this book. Okay, the rest of this is the separators you don't have to do anything with. You don't have to upload a cover because you'll do that inside Amazon. The formatting. So what you'll do is you'll tick the center box here and then the three text box to the right. Transform, nothing, nothing, nothing. And then you'll enter the date the metadata here, which is the title of the ebook. You're the author. Any contributors? Uh, the subject, uh, just a quick description of the book. Uh, rights, I just put all rights reserved. You don't have to do anything with that if you don't want to. Then I just click here and just put current English, if it's English. And then down here it says compile for. You're going to want to make sure that's ticked to EPUB and not Mobi file. Okay, you have the option of, of doing a Mobi file here as well. Let me show you. But you don't want to do Mobi file. You want to do an EPUB for this, okay? And then just go ahead and click Compile. And then you'll just save and close. I've already compiled this book, so I don't need to do it again. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is we're going to go over to Seigel. And let me just format this in here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, this is the piece of software. Once we open it up, this is what it's going to look like. And all you're going to do is go get the file that you just downloaded from Scrivener. 
So it's going to here open. And here it is, write an ebook. Here's the ebook that we just downloaded. And see how it puts all of our chapters in here as links. So it's already formatted the, the ebook for us, which is great. So next, we just want to check and make sure that all our content looks good. So go through this. You got to double click on it, and it'll take you through each one. Make sure it all looks right. And you can edit anything you want in here in this editor. So I'll just quickly go through this and just edit and make sure that everything looks good. Okay. The only thing I have a problem with is my uh, is this right here, table of contents that I'm demonstrating. Okay, everything looks good here. So what we'll do is we'll come back over here and just click on save. You don't have to click on save as, just click save. And then we're going to go and we're going to take a look at it through Amazon Previewer just to make sure everything looks okay. So we open up this Kindle Previewer software. And what we're going to do is open book. And we're going to click on the file that we just go to your document file, wherever you save that file to and just open it up where were we here it is here it is okay click OK over here and let me move this down so you can see it okay here's the ebook and here are your toggle switches up top here you can check through and make sure everything looks right and it's formatted correctly. And if it doesn't, you can go back and just, um, these are your inner pages. These are your chapters out here. So just so you know. Okay, I want to make sure the table of contents is okay. And it looks like it's going to be okay. Okay. So now that everything looks okay, if not, you can go back into the, your cycle editor and edit anything that doesn't look right and then just reload this in here to check on it. You can also check the view of how things look in different Kindle Fire HDX, uh, just regular Kindle Fire. When you upload it to Amazon, Amazon will let you look at it in all the different iPhones, iPad, everything else. So this, if you get it right in Kindle Fire, HD here, you're pretty much set because it's this is one of the smallest views you'll see. Okay, so after we're done with that, we're going to go over to Amazon. And you have to go to kdp.amazon.com. It's self-publishing here, KDP self-publishing. And create an account if you don't have one. If you have one, just go sign in. Okay, I have this already uploaded here somewhat. But let me talk, walk you through this real quick. If, let's go back for a second, just so you know. Okay, so when you open up an account here, you're going to say it's going to ask you if you want to add a new title. Here's where you add your new title to your to a book. If you're going to be uploading a new ebook, just click on this link here. I already have it, so I'm going to click on here, but I'll show you exactly what to do. When you click on your link, you're going to see the same thing I'm going to see. Okay, it's going to ask you to enter your book details. The book name is right here. You just enter that. You can check this if this is part of a series or not. Put your description of the book in here. You can add any contributors if you want there. The language, the publication date, which is obviously going to be today. ISBN number if you have one. Now, verify your publishing rights. This is not a public domain work and I hold the necessary publishing rights. This is the one you want to click right here. 
And then down in your add categories, you wanna make sure you're at the right category, okay? You can add categories. I put business writing and personal success, but when you click on this, it allows you to, and especially if it's nonfiction, make sure you click on that. And then go through these and make sure you're, you've added it to the right category, okay? Then just save it. And then down here, put your keywords as well. You have an option of up to seven. So I put all the major keywords that I wanted to, this book to rank for here. Added them there with a comma after each keyword or key phrase. And then what you're gonna do here is browse for your image, which will be the cover, the book cover. Okay, this image has to be, it's uh, the size of this is going to be, I believe, it's 1500 by 2400 pixels. Okay, but if you can see the cover guidelines here, and then what you're gonna do is just upload your book file here so what we're going to do is go browse find my and it'll convert this now and then what I like about it is it'll allow me to view it different ways too just to make sure that everything looks right and if it doesn't I can go back and reformat it to make sure that it's all correct if any of you had any problems or you have any questions on this, you can leave it below the video. I'll show you what this looks like here as soon as it's done converting. Okay, so it's done converting. It even gives you a spell check. There might be an error here that I might have. Oh, step eight, Cheryl, I don't know what that is. Just go ahead and click ignore. Okay, so then we come down here, we can preview the book. So let's take a look and see what we got here. Save changes and it'll show you. Okay, so here's our contents here. And then we can just go through and just make sure everything is formatted correctly and it looks right. Okay, so then once it looks okay, all this will do is go back. We previewed the book, it all looks good. Save and continue. Okay, something is missing. Oh, okay, add contributor. So that would be just be you, unless there's somebody else. Okay, we should be all set then. Save and continue. Okay, verify your public and territories. Um, if you have any, I, I just put worldwide rights. Choose your royalty. How much are you going to charge for your ebook? Okay, they're gonna set they're gonna set all these prices based on what you set up here. So once you set it up there, you're all set. Okay, so you can en enroll in Kindle Matchbook or in Kindle Book Lending if you want to. It's completely up to you.
and save and publish. You can always come back and change anything you want later. It, it, it's All you're going to have to do is come back in here and edit and change anything that you want changed and then you can just go back through everything and save and publish. Did I miss something here? Let's see. Please provide a royalty plan. Oh, huh. Okay, up here in your uh, where it says choose your royalty. In most cases, you're going to be choosing 70% of royalty here. If you choose 35, it means you can charge up to $200, I believe. Yep, 99 to $200. 70% royalty, which you get a higher re return. You can only your price has to be between $299 and $999. So you have to play with the price here, decide what's best for you. I can tell you for uh, for what I've seen and what I've know from other people is if you're under five dollars, it's best. But uh, you can go up to uh, nine ninety nine if you want. You can play with that price and test and see what's best for you. Okay, and obviously here you have to enroll in KDP, which is fine. And we're good to go. Save and publish. And this may take a you know a little while for it to pop up, but uh, that's it. That's how you do it. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below this video. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.